you already know the world has gone crazy when the garbage disposal gets disposed. All right, so we got a request video from uh, from uh, Ryan C. Actually, no, no, I should say for Ryan C, not from what? what, what? Have I been saying that? All, have I been saying that every request video? Uh, I really hope. But today we're going to be looking at the the um, 102.5 WYPLHLP Tower, um, Manchester Tower. So we got some general info. The YP, I mean the WYPHLP is a radio. I said. WYPHLP is a radio station, uh, radio station licensed to, uh, to serve the community of Manchester, Connecticut. The station is owned by New River Community Church. It airs a contemporary Christian music format. The station was uh, was assigned the WYPHLP call letters by the Federal Communication Commission. On February 14, 2014. In addition, the tower also has a variety of emergency communication antennas, and the site is protected by the federal government. We got um, some random information here. We got the um, we got the the, um, the site name, um, FCC tower regulate regula registration. I think FA 91 A and E. Uh, ground evaluation tower heights AGL overall height uh, AMSL. So um, they what well, they all right. So ground elevation is two hundred fifty four point five meters, which is eight hundred and thirty five feet. Tower height AGL is um um one hundred fifty one one hundred fifty point nine meters. Which is four hundred ninety-five feet overall high. A AMSL is um, four hundred five point four meters, uh, thirteen thousand and thirty feet. All right, now it's time to get to my favorite part of any tower: the beacons or obstruction lighting, to be uh, more um, more professional. Obstruction lighting. For many years, this tower had two tiers. Of dialite D1RW 008s, L864, L865 LEDs, which means that it's white and red. It's a dual. They're dual LEDs. Paired with two. Um, I um, I had to make sure if I was uh, if I uh, was rereading a sentence. Paired with two tiers of dialite. RTOCR0801 side lights or markers. Um, side lights and markers are the same. On 2 23 2022, the top LED um, experienced a rare and, and catastrophic malfunction. It, it had a seizure basically, um, where it shined both white and red simu simultaneously and randomly. After if, after weeks of malfunctioning, it was replaced with a completely new flash head, which was mounted on top of the antenna mount, rather than the normal top beacon mount. Before the new LED, the one mounted in the center was impossible to see from ground because uh, from the ground because of the antennas and posi positioning. Now it is even brighter than the bottom tier. As of 4 2022, everything has been fixed and is back to back in working order. So yeah, um, I uh, made a little screen record video of the of the that malfunctioning beacon. It was just so extraordinary and very rare. I I never seen something like. So yeah, um, that's the tower we're talking about. So uh, now we're going to get into um, some videos and pictures. So if the tower looks familiar. It's because I actually. Uh, showed it on the channel before we got video one this here is the top led as you can see it's uh it's on the side it's working just fine it's on day mode and all that stuff 
And uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, these uh, these die light LEDs look very similar to FTS 370s. So uh, yeah, you, you don't want to get them confused. Now we got the bottom set of LEDs, which is second tier. Uh, that's only a picture, okay. Um, yeah, that's only a picture. I should have known. Here's a here's a picture of them flashing. It's crazy how it's crazy how uh, Ryan C is able to easily, I think easily. Well, I, I like how he's able to take pictures of the beacons actually flashing. Like every tower he visits or just sees in general, he uh, usually takes a picture of its day mode flash and night mode flash. Night mode's easy. Unless if it's an FTS 370 with the quick flash. But this here doesn't have that night mode. But day mode, day mode is it's 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 hell basically. Alright, here's the here's the video of the second set of LEDs. Second tier. As you can see they're also working. Um there's that. So yeah, I think these are pretty cool. Wow, this video is very long. I'm not going to watch the entirety of it. All right, there it is. Here's a video of the tower itself, along with the LEDs. So yeah, just a distant shot of the LEDs and a little bit more of the tower. And telling by the the guy wire anchors, you can tell this tower is older, because um. I think they're called anchors, um, but um, newer towers don't have those type of guy wire anchors. They don't just stick out like that. They're usually um, well hidden, kind of, you know, still noticeable, but just uh, not as not as noticeable. Here's a picture at the top LED, uh, just waiting for us to, uh, okay, there. I was waiting for the quality to get better. So there's the LED, um, and, uh, you know, it looks pretty cool. Looks cooler than it did before. I like how it's, it's, it's I like how its LED is like right on the side of the right on the side of the town. He also caught he also captured a flash too. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, there it is. Kind of looks a little yellowish from his view. Uh, I'm guessing this here is one of the um, one of, one of its old microwave dishes. So uh, it's uh, microwave dishes, I guess. Um, you, you, you know, like, um, that, that red lightning bolt is so recognizable at this point. As you can see, it looks like it's, uh, inside of, a, um, an abandoned part of a truck. Like, a, um, it looks like it belongs to a storage truck. Alright, here's the tower itself. Um, alright, the picture finally loaded. So, uh, do you see? Oh, wow, the quality has gotten better. So you can't really see much because of the trees, but um, the tower is taller, and there's no trees blocking away. All right, so you can see the LEDs, and you can also see see the snow shields up the, uh, above them. You can see some antennas here and there. We got um, like two sets of cell antennas. I mean, uh, just they're, they're just um, uh, I f I forgot what I forgot what type of antennas those were. I I forgot what they were. Called. They are some sort of radio antenna, but I forgot the type or the name of them. So yeah, um, we got two sets of those antennas. And we got like half a set of antennas there. And then the tower is just kind of empty. Um, there's um, no other antennas um, for, um, at least um, in this, that's not what I meant to do. Like this, this area here has no, has no antennas, but you can see the markers. So yeah, you, you can uh, get out of here. There's some markers. They kind of look like TWR markers from um, from uh, ground view, ground level. And then we get to then then we uh, got the final two platforms. You can see they're both um they're both round, kind of more roundish than most. I'm a fan of the I'm a fan of these hexagon platforms. They're pretty cool. They're not too common in my area, Sam. Usually the only time I get to see uh, these platforms are uh, on vacations. So you can see we got two antennas on top and one antenna just hanging down below. And then we get to the final set of antennas. 
the final platform too. Um, so you can see it's another hexagon platform and we got like three antennas, maybe four up there. And you can also see the new LED too. All right, here's a picture of the guy wires and uh, this is it, um, what, what, what uh, like I, I was trying to say, um, this is what I was trying to say. Um, we got the guy wires and the fence that surrounds them. You know, we don't want crazy people cutting the cords because they think that uh, this tower is a 5G tower. Here's uh, here's those antennas again on the halfway point of the tower. This is a very high quality picture of them. And uh, when you zoom in, the picture, the, the quality gets better. So you can see we got two arms here holding uh, two antennas each. We got a microwave dish there. Um, we got the same here, like uh, we got two arms holding, uh, this time three antennas instead of four, so yeah. Um, and then we got the this just uh, lonely arm here, <laughs> and it only has two antennas, so there's that. Alright, here's another picture of them, and uh, you can see the truss too, you can see the wires. You can see every little detail, or kind of. You can see the you can see the the sun reflecting off the antennas, and and kind of a little bit of detail. You can kind of see the detail. We got the other one. We got the microwave dish again, and then we got the, the the top is cut off. Here's a shot of the antennas and the second tier of LEDs. So there's the LEDs. You can you can really just see the. And then um, we got the snow, the snow um, shields, and then we got those antennas again, which um, I didn't realize this before, but there's actually a third arm that has two more antennas on it. There's uh, the the guy wire anchors again, and here's these antennas, which I think are pretty cool. I like how um, I like how it looks like they're connecting to. Well, actually, they are connecting to uh, to that part of the town. That's pretty cool. We got the hexagon platforms again. You can see the antennas there. Those are the, those are kind of like uh, I'm pretty sure those might be FM antennas. Now that I think about it, or at least a, a a different type of FM antennas, like some sort of radio antenna. That's what they all are. I now we got the the yellow sign saying that this is the property. Uh, this proper. Uh, um, this property is protected by the federal gov government. This faculty, this faculty is used for emergency, med medical, and public safety communications. Any attempt to disturb, not not my mistake, it's disrupt, disrupt. Any attempt to disrupt this fa fa faculty um, is a violation of federal, state, and law, and local law. Violations subjects to arrest and prosecution. So yeah, you really don't want to um, uh, mess with um, this tower. And then we got this other sign here. See, it's a uh, it's uh, the Marcus uh, Mar Marcus Marcus. That's what it is. Um, Marcus Communication. We got um, site name FCC Tower F. FA ninety one. This is all the stuff from the from the information sheet on this uh, this uh, what was this? Like, it's not any Google slides. Just uh, you know, just the first picture. That's that's all. Here's another shot of the two signs, or actually three, since there's a smaller sign there. So yeah, farm hashtag fifteen seventy six. All right, I just realized I sounded very stupid when I said hashtag. It's it's number. 1576. Sorry for being cringe. All right, we're back to the tower, and as you can see, um, the the markers are in fact uh, are they they are in fact red, which I'm glad Dialight still makes red markers. Um, other tower companies like TWR don't make red. They the the filters are not red; they're just clear because the LED itself is just red. So what would be the use? But it's it's cooler this one. I think this might be the third picture up the top of the tower. We got a far away view of the two top pl platform. Looks pretty nice, you know. It looks like a tower that I would most definitely film. I do wish it had better beacons. Like uh, there's n there's really nothing wrong with the 
LEDs it has now. Like they're they're good LEDs. But I would rather have I I would rather um see this tower with strobes, or possibly strobes and incandescents if it's old enough. I just for, I forgot. Did um did Ryan C state the the date of the uh did did Ryan C state um what year this tower was built? I need to look again. But there there's a uh, here's another picture of the top. Um the the second platform is blo it, it's just it's been cut off. So we're only able to see this top platform, like the very, very top platform. And then our final picture is the ta it's just the entirety of the tower. So I think this is an I think this is a, a pretty appropriate final picture. So you can see just the entire tower. This is all we have for the video now. So uh, now the video is going to end. But, but before that, I, I want to see if the date of this. Uh, I want to see um, if um, we. I want to see if, my God, can I talk any? Can I talk properly? I want to see the year of this tower's construction, um, if it was stated on here. All right, so um, it, it's not stated, but uh, just telling by the the guy wire anchors, this tower is pretty old. I would say it might be from uh, the the 90s or late 90s. I guess I don't really know. Those uh, guy wire anchors give off uh, some 90s tower vibe, possibly 80-ish too. So um, it, it used to have either strobes or strobes and incandescents back then. I wouldn't imagine this having just incandescents or 300 millimeters if you want me to call them. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this might be uh, one of Ryan C's favorite towers, I think. I don't know, I think he said this was uh, one of his favorites. I think I don't know I forgot but that was the 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 all legendary WYPHLP tower 102.5